Hello friends, welcome to Noonish Prayer for Friday, November the 6th, 2020. What are you doing today? Do you have time to get outside? It is an absolutely beautiful day. The next couple of days, at least the last time I looked, the next couple of days look just wonderful. Uh, is this our Indian summer? I don't know. Um, it's a little late, but I will take it. And it might be the last chance we have for a while to get outside and really enjoy the fresh air. And of course, with COVID being like it is right now, it might be the last opportunity that we can gather safely outdoors with our friends, safely and comfortably outdoors with our friends. So in the midst of all of the chaos and anxiety and confusion and waiting about the election and the pandemic and everything else that's going on, I cannot encourage you enough to make sure, make sure that you make some time in the next day or two or three to get outside and get some vitamin D from the sunshine and to, and to, to give yourself a break from everything else that's going on. Get outside and breathe. Breathe deeply, breathe fully, and breathe in the goodness and the beauty of God's world. And hopefully also spend some time with people that you care about outside before we get shut down inside and shut down and shut in, I should say. So that's, that's my only announcement for today. It's a plug for the great outdoors. Uh, as you see, I am dressed to go outside and do some work in my yard, and I'm greatly, greatly anticipating it, looking forward to it. So please, please make some time to go outside and get some air in the next few days. And now, the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our lesson today comes from the end of the fourth chapter of the letter, Paul's letter to the Ephesians and spills over into the beginning of the fifth chapter. So I'm beginning at Ephesians 4, verse 25. So then, putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing. Rather, let them labor and work honestly with their own hands so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath 
and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ has loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. I invite you now in this brief time of silence to offer your own prayer petitions before the throne of grace. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Bless the leaders of our land that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Help us elect trustworthy leaders, contribute to wise decisions for the general welfare, and thus serve you faithfully in our generation to the honor of your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Lord God, when we are assaulted by the troubles of life and the deep waters of anger threaten to overwhelm us, do not let us sink. In your great compassion, hear us and help us. Deliver us from anger's power over us. Lead us out of bitter silence and hurtful words so that we may speak the truth in love. Heal every heart set on vengeance and show us the way to honesty and reconciliation through the one who has shown us both impassioned zeal and forgiving love, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Friends, go out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, and help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. May God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you and keep you today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Now, go outside.